We know how important it is to provide a sustainable building respectful with the environment, integrated with the Lingnam culture, the pagoda, the new museums in the Axis. But we also know how important it is for the visitor to have here an unforgettable experience. That's why we have designed a building which is responding to all these needs. Energy efficient, respectful and in the same time unforgettable. Let me guide you through this experience. The new Guangzhou Museum in the Future Axis is designed to provide optimal environmental conditions, minimizing CO2 emissions and has the potential to tell the visitor all the great wonders and history of the city. Within this, we find a vast quantity of handicrafts such as silk, lattice work, stonework and ceramic. But we also find a magnificent tropical vegetation with colorful flowers, particularly the red cotton tree flower, which is the symbol of Wanchu. The new Guangzhou Museum presents itself as an homogeneous artifact of a single material, ceramic mountain on light concrete slab with a color very similar to the pink stone of the city. The facade delicately wraps the volume of the museum without distracting the visitor from the view of the pagoda and the beautiful landscape that surrounds it. At the threshold, a surprise captures the attention. A majestic tall space, a large dome which is the heart of the museum. People circulate in this space and escalators transport them to the various levels. Tropical vegetation hangs from the center, visually transforming this space into the interior of an enormous antique vase inhabited by tropical flora. This dome-shaped atrium also incorporates some special environmental features. The top structure of the dome is capturing light via adjustable reflectors which direct it down into the atrium. The dome thus acts like a big chandelier, distributing daylight from the sky to the atrium. The metal lattice dome is also acting as a cooling system. It is activated by chilled water which allows to cool the atrium space. This means that far less air is required to condition the space, reducing energy demand. The water-filled structure also contributes to fire safety. The atrium dome is also used as a return path for the air from the exhibition spaces becoming an air distribution system. The exhibition spaces are organized in three levels. The permanent exhibition at level 2, the exchange exhibition at level 3, and the thematic exhibition at level 4. Here you can also find a great dinosaur. All of the exhibition galleries are thermically separated and climatically controlled.
The vertical facades are a double skin construction with an exterior screen and ventilated cavity to reduce heat gain. Transparent opening are minimized in exhibition spaces to optimize energy performance. Windows with a view are only placed in circulation spaces, providing natural daylight and improving the spatial qualities experienced during the visit. At the top level is the administration and management's offices in natural light. The entire roof is designed as a large solar collector surface, producing clean electrical energy for use in the building. The level B1 and B2 is the storage center in connection with the loading and loading area. The working areas are naturally lighted and ventilated. The underground level is also one of the main pedestrian access. Here you find commercial areas and public transportation, together with classrooms and lectures halls. The electrical power station is located as close as possible to the existing one with totally independent access, but integrated into the museum volume. The beautiful, energy-giving landscape of the new museum returns to the eyes of the visitor through the blooming landscape surrounding the pagoda, defining the building as the most sustainable and beautiful museum of the history of the city.